Welcome back to Red A's Beauty Lookout, my love story. And so it is my April <laughs> favorites and fails, and it's May. But, but I had other videos to film, and I had to get my list together, and I had to get my life right. So I have products in front of me and a list because, you know, I like lists. So, we're going to start with my favorites. And I forgot one over here. And I hope I don't make a mess trying to get to it. But I'm going to try to sneak it so y'all don't see it. Because it kind of goes with another favorite. So, we're going to start with my favorites. And we're going to work our way to the mess and the fails. The mess. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and let's get to it. Alright, so Biba. I am in love with her. She gives me all the feels and I'm gonna show you her. Biba is my friend. I'm gonna not dump my black shade out again. I am not returning this one simply because it's a hassle. The black did fall out of my palette. I pressed it back in there and I'm just not feeling with that. That is the one downfall. I did see another creator say that their black shade fell out as well, but it's just not that big a deal to me, I guess. But maybe it should be, but I mean, it is a $129 palette and the shade fell out, but um, what if I got another one and it wasn't as beautiful? I don't know. Is that weird? Yeah, I think that's weird. I mean, all all of them should perform the same, but what if it didn't? And then I would freak out and cry. So, it is so gorgeous. I mean, it just, every every time I use it, I mean, I'm just like, the, the, the shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. If you just put it on your eyes, you'll know what I mean. I think it's her best palette. I have the gold palette, and I think that one's better. I mean, it just is better, um, in my humble opinion. And I just think that it's worth the money. So, there you have it with Viva. All right, Icy Betch. It's $24. You cannot go wrong with this palette if you're wanting some blue shades. I, I definitely think that this is worth twenty four dollars. It's it's a gorgeous blue and green, one green. That green, I'm gonna swatch that green again because this green looks good on me, and usually greens don't look good on me. And that green is just it's just I don't know. It's sickening. It's so beautiful, and so I I highly highly recommend this palette. And I just looked at my list, and I don't have any lippies on my list. I can't believe I don't have any lippies on my list. What was I doing? Okay, so in my month, I fell in love with, and I don't think this was on my, my last month's list because I don't think I had this last month, Lorac Gilded Lily. I wanted this so bad and I waited and I waited. I think it's like $24 maybe. Maybe a little more than that. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. But, I mean, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's so pretty. I'm not wearing this one today only because I'm wearing cookie. Um, because I wanted to wear cookie because everybody's been talking about it. And cookie is, is beautiful. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. But... Gilded Lily has been my favorite this month, and I have worn it almost every single day. Um, Gilded Lily is beautiful, and I almost went back and ordered the rest of those highlights from that Light Source collection from uh, Lorac because that one is so creamy, and just the formula is not like anything I've ever felt from a highlight. It's just, it just blends onto the skin, and it's... When people talk about them blending into the skin, this is what that should be like. And this is what that's like. And it's just so nice. So, that's just that. Okay, this was in my haul video from uh, Ulta. 
if I can find it. Ah, oh. the Cover FX Foundation in N40 that's a neutral medium. Guys, this is a like a, a matte, um, full cover, like medium to full coverage foundation. I, you know, the packaging is a squeezy tube, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> it's beautiful on the skin. It's uh, it doesn't break me out. Uh, I'm all for it. It doesn't break me out enough said. It blends beautifully. It wears well. It doesn't break me out. Done. <laughs> Sold. Um, I, I just can't say enough beautiful things. I love Cover FX. It is a brand that I consistently purchase from. Um, I'm waiting on their primer to arrive in the mail right now. The gripping primer. I actually ordered it from Cover FX because I couldn't find it anywhere else and they finally restocked it. So yes, excited, definitely. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is hands down the best. I enjoyed the Benefit Liner, but this one, yes. Yes. Purchase it, get it, put your hands on it. Fabulous. Best formula I have found. Good, good, good. Can't, can't say enough good things about it. Then the eyeliners that I, oh, I knocked a cap off one of them. I'm going to have to find that. That I was using um, from an Ulta order were the neon eyeliners from LA Girl. These are so good. The Shockwave eyeliners. These are so good. So cheap. So cheap. So good. Um, so those are Fabulous and colorful and fun. The J Cat pigments, the Prismetal pigments. Love these. Love those. I used those for a look this month. Loved them. Okay. Then another favorite was the Drunk Elephant Copa Cabana Bronze. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a, bi a, bi a video, a video about this, a video about this. Definitely a favorite. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, as well as the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade. Well, Island Ting. This one's kind of cheating. I didn't have it very long, but I rather enjoy it. It is on my skin today. Very beautiful. I would say get your hands on one if you can in your shade. Another favorite and my final favorite before my meh product was, and I did have this one much longer this month, the Natural Lust Bronzer. And this is in the sh just the shade that it is. And it's a satin dual. It only comes in one shade. And this one is a satin bronzer. Has the peacock in it. And I rather enjoy it. I think this is the best bronzer from the Too Faced line that I have. And, oh, wait. I have one more favorite. I'm sorry. I lied. Guys, I have finally kind of started learning how to use these. They're dirty. I used them this morning. The Sonia G eye brushes. I am falling in love. I am in love. My personal fave is probably going to be either the Pencil Pro or the Worker Pro. Guys, these brushes are fabulous. They clean easily. They're so good. Oh, wait, I lied. I had more than one more. I don't know what I'm doing. It's after work today. I'm not actually usually, I'm not used to filming on a work day. So you'll have to excuse me. But those Sonia G brushes are so expensive, but so good. So good. The Drunk Elephant. Bestie number nine cleanser. 
I don't know if it's going to focus on this, but this cleanser, guys, I went back to my small size ones that I had from where they sent them to me. <clears throat> um, my face broke out from, and I forgot to get it, but my face broke out from um, a face wash and anyway long story short I went back to that one and I am clearing up and it is so beautiful and I no longer am having all the texture and drunk elephant thank you so okay my man product this Laneige Peach uh, Day Glowy Balm I mean you know, I love the Laneige sleeping mask. But I just, you know, I mean, yes, you get some product up, but I mean, it just, I mean, it, there's no real, like, hydration to it. There's no real, I mean, it's kind of thick. It's not, I don't know, it just feels thick and not moisturizing at all I mean it, I don't know and then I don't get the cap I mean I don't know I, it's meh it's okay it's not it's not something I'm gonna repurchase once I get through this tube of it it's okay I'll, I'll use it because I bought it but it's it's okay oh and then my other meh I did have one more meh I don't know what I did with it I probably hid it from myself so I wouldn't use it so I won't even mention it the but my fails the face tape foundation I took it back and bought the cover effects foundation the Tarte face tape foundation I love the shape tape foundation loved it I actually was one of the few that tried it and liked it the face tape foundation is freaking terrible it was like wearing a wrinkled mask that shriveled on you and it, I took it back and the manager was like I understand no questions asked <laughs> what <laughs> I mean that's how bad it must be I'm sorry Tatcha, but this primer is another product that irritates the hell out of my skin. I can't do it. I again tried it and an instant shit show on my face. And apologies for the language, but immediately. Acne. And it was terrible. And I'm like, what? I, I can't do this product. I don't know like I wanted this to work because I wanted to use it with the it cosmetics foundation um, I can't do it it just doesn't work it, I can't wear this this product so the oh where to go the Briogeo scalp revival charcoal plus coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo I have this on my um, list to purchase at the Sephora VIB sale in the bigger size. Thank God it irritated me before I bought it. Like I believe this even helped irritate my skin and I'm really glad that it did. I think this has tea tree in it too. Possibly. But the sulfates in it alone I think irritated me too. But this dried my scalp out to the point that there were flakes and it was disgusting. Disgusting. And then we come to the tea tree face wash that everybody loves for acne prone skin and blah blah blah. Don't do it. If you're like me. If you think that you're like me and may have an, an allergy to tea tree or just don't use overuse it um, I can't oh, I, I can't use that much tea tree um, it's a very concentrated amount of tea tree and that's why I couldn't do it so 
Um, well, that about does it for my faves and fails. I will try to insert a picture of the tea tree uh, face wash that I'm talking about. My son can use it. I can't use it, but, um, and that about does it. And until next time, bye.